Welcome to Income Five.
worship God this morning, acknowledge Him this morning, begin to appreciate Him. Speak to your Father for He is here this morning. He says He's always one step up above our, us. So begin to worship Him. Father, we worship you this morning. We acknowledge you, Lord Jesus. We appreciate you, Father, that we adore you. We exalt your holy name, King of Kings. We lift your name above the castle of the earth, Father. That there is no one like you. And there can never be anyone like you, Lord Jesus. Father, we worship you. We worship you, our Creator. We worship you, our Maker. We worship you, O Lord Jesus. Father, we worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Thank Him for being with you throughout the year 2023 and for bringing you in this year 2024. Begin to thank Him. For without Him, we are nothing. Without Him, we wouldn't be here this morning. Many wish to be here, but they are no more. Many even die on the first of this year. But here you are alive this morning. Open your mouth and begin to thank Him. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we are nothing without you. We thank you for always being there for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving our soul, O oh Lord. Thank you for making a way for us when there seems to be no way. Thank you, Father, King of Glory, Lord Jesus, for our family. Thank you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. We are here this morning, not by power, not by mind, but by your spirit. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your goodness, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your faithfulness. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your way. We say you are holy this morning. Hosanna to your name in the highest. Hosanna to your name in the highest. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for this new year. Father, we thank you for what you have been doing and for what you are yet to do in our lives this year. Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your compassion. Thank you, Jesus, King of Glory, for your grace. Thank you, Daddy. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. May your name be enthroned in this place this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Begin to ask forgiveness of your sins. He say, as we, he say, when we come before him, we humble, we humble ourselves and come before him and ask forgiveness of our sins. He will be faithful and just to forgive us. Begin to ask forgiveness of your sins. Ask him to have mercy on you. Ask his blood to begin to wash you this morning. Ask his blood to sanctify you. Ask his blood to purify you. Open your mouth and speak to your father. Cry to Jesus this morning. Like blind material. Ask son of David to have mercy on you. Have mercy on me, son of David. Have mercy on me, King of Glory. Papa, I've come before your throne of grace this morning. And you know I have sinned against you. Father, anywhere I will not miss my way, Lord Jesus. Father, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, son of David. You remind me, oh Lord. Let down your blood that you share all the cross of Calvary. Begin to put the fight in your hands. Let down your blood that you all that the blood of heaven. Begin to put the fight in your Blood of Jesus, have mercy on me. Blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, forgive my Forgive my mother's house. Forgive my mother's house. For worshiping my Lord. For coming upon the spirit of the dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Begin to ask for the Holy Spirit to come and take control over your life this morning. To take control of everything we do in this place this morning. Let His mighty presence flow in this place this morning. Let your Holy Spirit come and take over. For we can do nothing without Him. For the Holy Spirit, the Lord said, I am going, but I am sending you a helper. And that is the Holy Spirit. Begin to call upon Him this morning to come and help us. To come and be our helper. To come and be our senior partner. To come and be our leader in this place this morning. Speak on this prayer of the living God in your mind too. Let your mind just let the spirit of the living God be Let your mind just let the spirit of the living God Let your power do in this place like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, O Lord, we are here today. It's our first time, Father. May we know you are here. Speak on this prayer of the living God, we know you are here. Let your power come in this place and deliver the place. Let your power do this place. Let your power take soul today. Let's begin to pray for the word of God. Let us the word of God come for you. Let it come and change your life. Let the word of God come for you. Let it come and change your life this morning.
morning. Open your mouth and Father, King of glory, Lord Jesus, we forbid your word that we come for the day. Shall come for the King of glory with power. Let it come from the anointing. Let it come from the people with the power of transformation. And transform our life for good. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Let's pray for our Father, Apostle John She and Mommy Esther John That God should continue to protect them. God should continue to give them wisdom to help them think and people out there. Pray for them for the morning. For the gift of a prayer every single day. Father, King of glory, you shall be your prayer and apostle John Shea and only Esther John Shea of the Lord. Father, continue to use them for your own glory, O Lord. Continue to use them, King of glory, to direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. Let's begin to, to pray for our pastor, our father, Pastor Monday, and for the Holy Spirit, Lord. That God should continue to use them to chase our problems, to chase the Holy Begin to pray for this. Father, we commit your servant, Pastor Monday, and Mama Rosemary, O King of Heaven, Father, continue to use them, O Lord, to display the root of our problems, to, to expose King of Glory every hidden thing from setting our life. Father, King of Glory, for you are the one who reveals every deep and hidden thing from setting us. Father, reveal to them. Reveal to your servant, Pastor Monday, today. Give him the spirit, King of Glory, Lord Jesus. Give him with your spirit, Father, to see beyond the sea, to hear beyond the hearing. Father, use him today like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. If you be, believe that God has answered our prayers, Lord, we pray your hand and begin to thank you. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we know that you have answered us this morning. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We cover the service of today with the blood of Jesus. We stop the service of today with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We declare the service of today open in the mighty name of Jesus.
in any way that you have sinned against God, say, Abba, Father, show me mercy. Is it by proud? Open your mouth and begin to ask God for mercy. Because in package you have for everyone today, that God will not pass you back. Open your mouth and pray. Even though you have power, you need, you need two. You need three. You need more to bless people. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray.
Mommy will stay with Monday. That God should use her. God should empower her to win souls for his kingdom. Yeah. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God should Father, we commit to our mother in the house for his souls. Lord God, empower our mother. Strengthen our mother. Father, give her the wisdom to win souls for your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. but I'll cut it short. Uh, that was uh, Saturday, the 23rd of December. Uh, November, my mom, I was chatting with my mom on phone. So chatting with her, she just said, hey, you know us in our normal language in Cameroon, I don't fall. And I was like, why are you falling? Where are you first going to go and the house there with dog? Then she said, I have one. So when she said so, she's she switched off her phone. 
I called my junior brother. I was talking with my mom. My mom said she fell. So please rush and check her. She told me later on that the womb was too open up to an extent that she had to go and uh, stitch it in the hospital. I was like, God, what is this? I just told her okay, it is well. Saturday, the 23rd of December. I was so happy that day. I was like listening to my worship, dancing, and messages just pop up on my phone. Something told me, don't read it now. I said, no, let me just share because I was at work. For me to tell, I saw a very big deep room. Ah, who is this? The picture, they did not show me the full picture, they just the, the womb. And I was like, oh, what is this? For me to ask questions about that one, I saw another one, two legs, the fingers rotting. Ah, I said, yes. Now I called my mom. Who sent this first picture and who is the second person? My mom told me, that wound that they stitch with the, with the plaster, she was feeling a type on the, on the leg, so she took it back to the hospital for her to go to the hospital, that they should open it. That is what she saw. And I was like, God, soon they will say, maybe they will cut this leg. That is the first thing that came into my head. And I said, okay, the second person is who? Even though I was panicking, I was like having a little bit of fear, but I was just claiming to be strong. I said, then he said, because who have those souls that are like that? She told me, your elder brother smashed poison. I said, good. And I stayed quiet. I did not talk for some minutes. My mom called me, I did not answer. I realized that all the joy I had just died off. First, I thought of it, I don't have money now. I was going my company, I went to Zebra Ridge. They told me they have to remove everything because they want to close the year. How do I want to start this? Just like I stayed me strong. That Sunday, I came to church. I danced as usual, as if all was well. But inside of me, I was dying. I was just like God, take control. And after the service, I was going with my sister, as usual, Sister Shanta. And I just turned and told her that I want to talk to Papa. My spirit is not telling me to go. We were already late. But I told her, I must talk to Papa. I have never seen Papa after service because I just always used to believe the prayers. So I don't like to like go back to him telling him something he has prayed for. I said, but this time around, let me just show him these pictures. Maybe he will lay hand and my heart will be calm. One thing there that got my attention so seriously is that this is my elder brother in question, me and him. He's my elder brother from one who we are not like, we don't have that law, that intimacy, we are not that close. So I was surprised for him to show me his picture and say, sister, see my leg. Ah. I said, this one that is my brother who confided in me, if it's something is serious, it means maybe he too have some fear. So when I got the opportunity to talk to Papa, I explained and explained. When Papa talked to you, a word, a word, just a word, believe and you will see it. Upon all the explanation I explained, I was expecting Papa to tell me that day, eh, it's witchcraft. <laughs> I was looking at him for him to even call me a name that this is the person who did this. Papa was just looking at me. He gave, he was so patient because I talked out of control because I was in pain. But ah, if a man of God is humble, he is humble. Mm. He was so patient listening to me when I feel. The only question Papa asked me was that, how much did you send to your mom for Christmas? <laughs> Hallelujah. And I said, Papa, nothing. Even my kids, I did not buy them anything because I don't have. Forget about this dressing and painting. Inside, <laughs> not anywhere. <laughs> Papa just smiled and told me, tell your brother to go closer to his mom. I said, ah, but my brother is close to my mom because I remember when my mom was sick, it's my brother who took care of the bills, bills, everything. I tried to explain to him, I said, oh, my mom, my brother is close. Then no, tell your brother to go close to his mom. So after that, he told me, go and wait for me. I said, oh, I said, yeah, I'm not going. I must see the end of the story. <laughs> Papa came and blessed me. 
And when he blessed me, he told me something. Give this to your mom to enjoy Christmas. And I was like, put your hands together for your people. And I was like, the whole Christmas, no, you have not said anything because my family, they know me. I show them a lot of responsibilities. So as I did not talk, none of them even asked me a question. I even tried to talk to my daughter and say, your mother don't have one. She said, mom, we know. When you have, nobody asks. And I, my heart was like a little bit strong. But I was sitting, you know what it means. Christmas, New Year, other families are celebrating, you don't give your mother something. But Papa blessed me. I did not sleep with that money. I went to look for the person who used to say, to mobile money, I did not sleep. The next day, I called my mom. I said, my pastor sent you something. My mom is very stubborn. She don't want to hear this our churches. When I want to talk, she would tell me, I don't say a church. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm praying my God. I was shocked. She was the one telling me, God bless him all. I said, yeah. it means the spirit is moving. <laughs> so I went and I sent her the money. She thanked Papa so much. And my main concern now was the wounds. And I called my brother. I said, well, no, I will not hide this from him because I used to have this fear to talk to him. I said, maybe if I talk, he will take it to another level. But I will just tell him, if he wants to get angry with me, no problem. So I told him, I said, Papa said you should go closer to your mother. So when I told him, he said, I know it is true. I said, eh? So truly you are not with mama like that. Your whole heart is not there. Or oh, is it that I do not understand Papa well? He said, no, just, just hear that I know. I said, okay, just go close to your mother and be prayerful. And from then, I did not stay quiet. I have always been committing them, praying, praying for them all through until yesterday. Because we were not chatting me and my dad brother, but from this incident, I started calling him every day to know how he's feeling. So yesterday, I had to call the two of them. I first of all called my mom, and my mom told me, yeah, that lady is... It's remaining just little to close. Hallelujah. That the room is too small. It's just remaining a little scar to close. I said, okay, thank God. I called my elder brother. I said, brother, how are you? My brother took up his leg, went in some Put your hands together for the Lord. If that only be the God of Akko. And told me, Mama, I'm fine. See, I didn't wear my shoes today. And I was like, praise God. Hallelujah. If you're happy, if you know this can only be God, I want you to make the loudest noise onto the Lord. So, my sister, you're trying to tell us that from that, from December to now, the devil has tried to take hold of you and your family. But because of the word from our father, Pastor Monday, Everything in your family now, the law, the wounds, the healings, and everything has come to pass in your family. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Yes. Please put your hands together for the Lord. So, sister, after all these healings and everything, what are the changes you've noticed? There's so much changes for me because I know my God has taken over. Amen. Yeah. Because, sorry for taking you back, my mom is this kind of a person, as I said, she's very stubborn when it comes to this, our own kind of churches. You know, if I say so, you understand. But I was surprised when I told, because Papa told me she, he would like to talk to my mother. Uh, sister, and I told her... Sister, because of time? Just because of time? Yeah, it's just short. <laughs> and I told her, Papa said, he will call you. And my mom was is seriously waiting for the call. So I know that things have changed. Okay, hallelujah. So, sister, what is your advice to viewers all over the world that are watching you now live and for us that are sitting right here? There's no two advice just to stay true and close to Jesus. Amen. And what is your promise to God? I'm already there. <laughs> Serving him to the end. Amen. Welcome to Encom Dubai. Connect by faith as you watch this mighty deliverance through the medium of the living water, and your case will not escape the anointing of God.
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Just free.
Good morning, Monica. Please tell us your name, where you're from, and what you're going to Dubai. I'm from Sri Lanka. So, I was here in Dubai like almost 16 years and I say that thanks to God that God showed me this church. Amen. <laughs> you all are so lucky to have this church. Amen. Because I was going so many church before, but I never saw like this place. This place is so blissful. When you got your deliverance, don't leave this place. You should be here. And uh, when I was, when I come here before, uh, I know my husband since 2014. And we got married on last 2022. And uh, I went for wedding. I went for wedding 2022. And my, when my wedding is finished, when my wedding is finished, uh, in after three days, I go start to itch my body and I don't know what's going on. And I have all the problem in the body. And I feel like vomiting, so many things. I have, I share with the sister also one picture that um, I, ha I drink too much medicine, like almost one and and now I don't take any tablet after I am coming to this church. I have this someone in my family member very close to us, uh, the person done with me with the witchcraft to separate us in our relationship and to destroy my life and everything, to steal my happiness. And uh, after that, I, I, when I know this was happened with me, so I don't know what I am going to do. And I call my mom, she told me, you come to Sri Lanka. So there is have so many people the, who's removing the witchcraft like these things. So even though I believe, I thought as a Christian girl, as a believing Jesus, I don't know what I will do. So I'm ready to go from here to Sri Lanka also. But the situation is not good. And uh, after I called my friends and I, I talked to this problem. When I talked to them, they told me that uh, no, it's not the witchcraft. They are just making crazy things. You just meet the psychiatrist doctor. When I call psychiatrist doctor, she's one of my clients, and I feel very shy to tell her that uh, I have problem. And I told her it's one of my friends. She has some problem, like same issue. I talked to her, and she told me after she listening all the things, she told me that, no, Abhi, this is not the psychiatrist problem. This was something done what? with someone. So you better you go somewhere and to release this problem. And I called many people. I don't know how to come from this problem. And our church people from Andhra church, the pastor, he come to, he come to the house. And I go also there. And they pray for me. And uh, when they come to the house, and when we are praying, that time my husband is not with me, he's in India. And uh, when they pray for me, at the same time, he got accident. He break the finger and the, all it's have a blood and everything at the same time. And uh, also, I don't know what to say that even he start to think wh wh what's happened. He's very good in driving. So this happened in the immediate, the same time. And after that, 
they pray they pray too many time in the house but when my husband is not there in the house i saw so many noisy and the lice in the house and very long hair if you see my hair i always color it's a colored hair so i saw some like a black hair very long long hair in the lice in my hair i am a hair stylist i know how to take care of hair i never see uh, lice in my hair so i saw in the bed lice in the house so many hair i called my husband it was happening like this he say no maybe it's come from air like this then after i call other pastor and i told him pastor like this problem and they come to the house and they they pray they pray they put the holy water everything on that time i feel okay but still i have again problem i don't know what to do and uh, also when i having a problem when i having a problem when i was witchcraft i don't know that they did for me something and i did very bad things that without knowing me if i know something i will never do that one okay sister the, for the sake of time so we've watched a video of you has prayed for you we've, we've seen you manifest now we saw i think the the toe of your husband so uh, because of time i want you to tell us what happened immediately after pray, papa prayed for you after that day what happened how you feeling what's going on after that when i start to come from this church and they start to pray first day and i start to vomit and i will be become like i feel better and after that when they start to pray for me like two weeks even i lost my job after i am coming to the church and after that i talked to a pastor and he told me that he we both are have to do the fasting and they will pray for us from the online so they they pray for us and after one week we got i got my job put your hands together for master jesus and and also when i was um, when i i'm suffering with the sickness it's not only body allergy i have a breathing problem body allergy and i have a gas problem so many problem if they saw the picture in the tablet i throw a lot of pro- tablets yeah. now i'm not taking even one tablet amen put your hands together for jesus so sister quickly just tell us continue to tell us the changes you've seen after that prayer just summarize yeah, the changes you've seen it was too much changes i can see that now i don't have any allergy in my body it's heal i am very very good because when i go everywhere i have always itching itching so uh, thank you so what about the leg of your husband we saw like the leg of your husband yeah he's what? now okay it was in, when he was in india it was happened like accident and also in my house i saw like uh, so many th- when he's not there in the house i saw so many lies and everything after i come to the church and i buy the holy water and the holy oil and also holy water and the holy oil and i put all my house and i take the oil and i put the cross in my uh, in front of the door all the door i put the cross and after that i start to uh, feel that the noise has disappear the so many things hallelujah so sister what is your advice to viewers all over the world uh, you should go to the right place amen, amen. You should go to the right place and once you got the delivery don't leave that place stay with there only okay. because i believe that one because i was 16 years in dubai but i never see like this place i'm Hallelujah. very happy that thank you jesus i am i am very happy that we found like this place amen yeah so close to you is your husband can we hear a little bit from him Good morning sir. Yeah good morning. Please can you tell us your name or you're from? Yeah my name is Mithun. Mithun. I'm from India. So can you please uh, give us a little bit of summary or confirm what your wife has been telling us here and viewers all over the world? Actually it's a strange experience for me. Uh I was born in a Hindu Hindu family. Uh and in my child age also I had seen some uh, rituals doing in the surroundings. but i don't believe in that kind of things till my uh, wife is affected by one of those things uh in the initial stage i i didn't believe in this thing i thought it is something uh, some 
uh, that thought process, wrong th uh, th uh, thought process happening inside. That means our inner conflicts is thinking, making us think some bad is going to happen. And after coming to Dubai again, I was in a uh, small vacation. She was here. And the st uh, same day I entered the flight, this thing happened. Mm. And the same time, the uh, another pastor come to the uh, home and uh, the prayer started, I met with an accident. And uh, I was, then I come back and the process was, uh, I don't want to uh, remember that those days. Yes, But sir. now it's completely, not completely, 99% it's better. Yeah. And you'll be complete in Jesus' name. So you're actually confirming every explanation that your wife has given to us regarding every incident that has been taking place in your life. So, sir, what is your advice to viewers all over the world? Or what is it? No, what are the changes you've seen in your life after the prayers, after you saw your wife being delivered on that day? Uh, I like what are the changes you've seen in her? What, what are the changes in your environment, in the house? No, actually, to be frank, my wife is one of my biggest inspiration. Wow. And I know how she uh, come from zero to hero. Put, Put your hands, hands together for the Lord. Okay, so as a couple, can you please give us some advice to viewers all over the world? Uh, it's not an advice. I realize uh, the strong faith inside us, uh, if we have strong faith inside, as uh, about the Jesus, nothing can touch us. That's I feel, I see in my eyes, I feel with my wife and all. So your advice to viewers all over the world is that they should have faith in God because only your faith can make you whole. Amen. So what is your promise to God? The promise to God is definitely we will follow the path, His path, and we are safe there. Okay. So madam, please, can you please tell us your promise to God? My promise to God is always I want to be his child. Amen. Until my last breath. Amen. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Until my last so sister, we pray in the name of Jesus as you go, may your healing and your deliverance be permanent. And as you go, may you make the word of God a standard and a living part of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please church, can you rise up on your feet so we can pray for the testimonies. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. The Lord is good. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Your miracles not double double. Your miracles not triple triple. Your miracles is on the way. Oh. Your blessings is on the way. Oh. Hey, the Lord is good. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. 
house of the Lord. If you're happy, what are you? you make a joyful noise. Lift your hands up in the air. 
Say, Father, Lord God, I worship you, Lord Jesus. Say, Father, you are the reason why we are here. You are the reason why we are standing here today. Father, Lord, I exalt your name. Father, Lord, I give you praise. The most he be ni gue, anasi alleluia, anasi alleluia. Jehovah Melio, O Melio, the most he be ni gue, anasi alleluia. Jesus. Glory, honor, and power to the one who reigns forever. Amen. Amen. Blessing, honor, and praise to the one who reigns forever. Jesus, thank you, Father God. Why will I sing your praise? Who will serve a father like you, Jesus? Jesus. Emelio, Emelio, the most ibinigwe, anasi alleluia, anasi alleluia. Jehovah Emelio, o the most inachi. There is power in the name of Jesus. What we have to say, there is power in the name of Jesus. Break up. 
Greet your neighbor to the right and to the left. So you are welcome to his presence. You are welcome to the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let someone say, I choose to be happy. Say, I choose to smile. I choose to smile. Je choisis de sourire. Even when there is nothing to smile about. Même quand il y a rien pour sourire. Say I choose to be happy. Dis je choisis d'être fier. Even when there is nothing to be happy about. Même quand il y a rien d'être fier. I smile. Je souris. I'm happy. Je suis fier. Because I know. Parce que je connais. That Jesus is in control. Que le Seigneur Jésus Christ est au contrôle. I know. Je connais. That Jesus is supporting my position. Que le Seigneur est en train de supporter ma position. Do you believe that? Est-ce que vous croyez à ça? Hallelujah. Amen. 
You may please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir, s'il vous plaît. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Gloire à Dieu. Amen. Amen. Let someone say you need divine wisdom to take over. Que quelqu'un dit vous avez besoin de la sagesse divine pour prendre le contrôle. Say you need divine wisdom to take over. Vous avez besoin de la sagesse divine pour reprendre. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please open your Bibles with me to the book of Joel. Ouvrons nos Bibles. Le livre Joel, de Joël, chapter 2. Joël, chapitre 2. Praise the Lord. Joël, chapter 2. Hallelujah. Joël, chapitre 2. The book of Joël. Chapter 2. Are we there? Praise the Lord. The book of Joel, chapter 2. Joel, chapter 2. Verses 23. Verse 23. Are we there? Est-ce que nous sommes là? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Joel 2, verses 23. Joel, chapter 2, verse 23. Say, so be glad then, you children of Akam, Dubai. Praise the Lord. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully, and he will cause the rain to come down for you. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Are we in the first month? Praise the Lord. The threshing floors shall be full of wheat, and the vast shall overflow with new wine and oil. For I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts have eaten, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, and the shrewing locusts, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Amen. You shall never be put to shame. Amen. Your family shall never be put to shame. Vous ne serez jamais mis à honte. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Yes, people of God. Oui, peuple de Dieu. We are in our season of takeover. Nous sommes dans notre saison de reprendre. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Acclamez le Seigneur s'il vous plaît. We are in our season of takeover. Nous sommes dans notre saison de reprendre le contrôle. A season to take over the lost glories. A season to take over the lost years that the locusts, the cankerworms, and the caterpillars have eaten. Une saison de reprendre tout ce que nous avons perdu au durant toutes ces années. And in this year of takeover. Et dans cette année de reprendre le contrôle. In this season of takeover. Dans cette saison de reprendre. God shall be opening new doors for you. Le Seigneur sera en train de ouvrir les nouvelles portes pour vous. God will be opening new doors for you and your family. Le Seigneur va ouvrir les nouvelles portes pour vous et votre famille. And new things will be happening to you. Et les nouvelles choses vont se dérouler dans votre vie. Your ways shall be shining brighter and brighter. Votre chemin doit briller et clairsier et plus en plus. More and more, not more and less. Plus en plus, pas plus et moins. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Massive, inexplicable things will be happening to you. Beaucoup de choses inexplicables vont se passer dans votre vie. You shall see the finger of God. Vous allez voir la main de Dieu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom tout puissant de Jésus Christ. But in our quest to take over. Mais dans notre course pour prendre le contrôle. Wisdom, divine wisdom, is paramount. La 
sagesse divine est très important. Divine wisdom is paramount. La sagesse divine est très important. And what is wisdom? Et qu'est-ce qui est donc la sagesse? What is wisdom? Qu'est-ce qui est la sagesse? Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. The Bible is speaking in the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 52. La Bible dit dans le livre de Luc chapitre 12 verset 22 that Jesus grew in wisdom que and stature. Que le Seigneur Jésus-Christ a grandi dans la sagesse. The book of Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Dans le livre de Luc chapitre 2 verset 52. It said Jesus grew in wisdom and stature. Il dit que Jésus a grandi dans la sagesse et dans le statut. And in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 Et dans, le livre 16, de, et dans le livre de 1 Corinthiens chapitre 2 verset 16 said, we have the mind of Christ. il dit que nous avons l'esprit de Dieu we have the mind of Christ. nous avons l'esprit de Dieu This means that as children of God, is our ça veut dire que comme les enfants de Dieu la sagesse est notre héritage as we, as children of God, is our heritage. comme les enfants de Dieu La sagesse est notre héritage. As children of God, wisdom is our birthright. Comme les enfants de Dieu, la sagesse est notre héritage. So in our quest to take over, we need to portray divine wisdom in all our doings. Donc dans notre course de prendre le contrôle, nous devons posséder la sagesse divine dans tout ce que nous faisons. In our quest to take over, we need to possess divine wisdom. Dans notre course de prendre le contrôle, nous devons posséder la sagesse divine. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 24. Dans le livre de Matthieu chapitre 7 verset 24. What is wisdom? Wisdom is defined there. Qu'est-ce que la sagesse? Elle est définie là. In Matthew 7 verse 24. Dans le livre de Matthieu chapitre 7 verset 24. The Bible speaking. La Bible dit that whosoever heareth these sayings of mine. Qui quand écoute ces paroles de De, qui vient de moi whosoever heareth the sayings of mine qui écoute les paroles qui viennent de moi and do it then et les fait studio please whosoever heareth the sayings of mine qui écoute ces paroles qui viennent de moi and do it then et le agit Matthew 7 verse 20, 20, 24 Matthieu chapitre 7 verset 24 whosoever heareth the sayings of mine Quiconque écoute ces paroles qui viennent de moi and do it then, et le fait, I will liken him unto a man that built his own house upon a rock. Il est comme un homme qui construit sa maison sur un roc. So wisdom is defined. Donc la sagesse est définie là. As who he is, comme quelqu'un qui écoute the commandment of God and do it then. Et les commandes, il écoute les commandements de Dieu et fait. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. So by us hearing the voice of God, donc à nous écoutons la voix de Dieu. By us putting into practice the word of God, par nous en mettant en pratique la parole de Dieu, that is when we get divine wisdom of God. C'est là où nous aurons la sagesse divine de Dieu. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. So wisdom is knowing the right thing to do and doing them. Donc la sagesse c'est de savoir La source qui faut faire et en faisant ça. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do and doing them. La sagesse c'est de savoir la juste chose pour faire et la faire. The right thing from God's word. La chose juste venant de la parole de Dieu. Is your business not growing the way it should be? Est-ce que votre business ne grandit pas de la manière dont il doit grandir? Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do from God's word. And doing it that will empower your business to grow. La sagesse est de savoir la juste chose qu'il faut faire et la appliquer dans votre travail dont vous travaillez. Are you not getting the right job, the right contract that you desire? Est-ce que vous n'avez pas le travail et le contrat dont vous avez besoin? Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do from God's word la... and doing it that will empower you to get the right job the right contract that you desire. La sagesse c'est de savoir la juste chose pour faire qui va vous donner le contrat et le bon travail dont vous allez faire. So wisdom is knowing the right step to take. Donc and la sagesse c'est de savoir la bonne pas pour prendre. Wisdom is knowing the right step to take and taking it. 
La sagesse est de savoir le bon pas pour prendre et l'apprendre. Wisdom is knowing the right turn to make and making it. Le, la sagesse est de savoir le bon tournant pour l'apprendre et l'apprendre. The Bible gave different examples of people that portray the wisdom of God. La Bible donne beaucoup des exemples de gens qui ont montré la sagesse de Dieu. King Solomon is one of them. Le roi Salomon est l'un d'entre eux. The Bible speaking that King Solomon asked God for divine wisdom Bible, and God gave him unparalleled wisdom. La Bible dit que le roi Salomon a demandé à Dieu de lui donner la sagesse et le Seigneur lui a donné la sagesse. The wisdom that God gave him empowered him to give sound judgment. La sagesse dont le Seigneur lui a donné lui a donné le pouvoir d'être juste. He gave sound judgment. Il a donné un jugement bon. You remember what Queen Sheba said about him. Vous vous rappelez de ce que la reine Sheba a dit lui concernant. He said half of your wisdom and your prosperity have not been told to me. Il a dit le demi de votre sagesse et votre prospérité n'est pas été transmettre à moi. He said your wisdom and your prosperity surpasses your fame that have been told. Il a dit, elle a dit, votre sagesse et votre prospérité, ça dépasse tout ce que j'ai entendu de vous. So, wisdom is the source of durable riches. Donc, la sagesse est la source des richesses qui durent longtemps. So, for us to be rich, we need divine wisdom. Donc, pour nous d'être riches, nous avons besoin de la sagesse divine. For us to know the right step to take. Pour nous de savoir les bons pas pour prendre. For us to know the right turn to make. Pour nous de savoir le bon tournant que l'on doit prendre. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Joseph, the son of Jacob, is another example. Joseph, le fils de Jacob, est un autre exemple. With divine wisdom, Joseph took over the land of Egypt. Avec la sagesse divine, Joseph a pris contrôle. His ability to interpret dreams. Son habilité de transmettre et de traduire les rêves. To proffer sound solutions de chercher les solutions aux problèmes during famine in Egypt quand il y avait la famine en Égypte his reconciliation with his brothers sa réconciliation avec ses frères portray divine wisdom of god in his life a montré la sagesse divine dans sa vie and with that divine wisdom he took over the land of Egypt et avec cette sagesse divine il a pris contrôle de la terre de l'Égypte praise the lord gloire à dieu there are two sources of Wisdom in the Bible. Il y a deux sources de sagesse dans la Bible. Two sources deux of sources. divine wisdom in the Bible. Deux sources de la sagesse divine dans la Bible. One is by the impartation of the spirit of wisdom. L'un d'entre eux c'est par l'impartation de l'esprit de Dieu. The impartation of the spirit of wisdom. Par l'impartation de l'esprit de la sagesse. In Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. Dans le livre de Deutéronomie chapitre 30 verset 24 The book of Deuteronomy 34 verse 9 Dans le livre de Deutéronomy chapitre 34 verset 9 we, we saw there that Joshua was full of wisdom because Moses has laid his hand on him Nous avons vu que Joshua était plein de sagesse parce que Moïse a mis ses mains sur lui He was full of wisdom Il était plein de sagesse because Moses had laid his hand on him parce que Moïse l'avait impacté Praise the Lord Gloire à Dieu. So he was full of divine wisdom. Donc il était plein de la sagesse divine. Because Moses had laid his hand on him. Parce que Moïse a touché, il lui a touché avec ses mains. Another source of wisdom is through the reading of the word of God. Une autre source de sagesse c'est en lisant la parole de Dieu. True. Us searching through the scriptures. À nous et recherchons à travers la parole de Dieu. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 16 Dans le livre de 2 Timothée chapitre 2 verset 16 Starting from 15 uh, Lisons à verset uh, chapter 15, 3 starting from 15 Chapitre 3 en commençant au verset 15 The Bible speaking that Timothy speaking about Timothy that he understood la the Bible, holy scriptures La Bible dit que Timothée a compris la parole de Dieu. He understood the holy scriptures from childhood. Il a compris la parole de Dieu quand il était encore très enfant. Which was able to make him wise. Qui lui a aidé à être sage. So, wisdom can be acquired 
from the Holy Book. Donc nous pouvons avoir la sagesse en lisant la Bible de Dieu. Timothy understood the Holy Scriptures from childhood, which was able to make him wise. Timothy a compris la parole de Dieu qui lui a fait sage quand il lisait la Bible de Dieu. So the Holy Scripture have the capacity to infuse in you the wisdom of God. Donc la parole de Dieu a la capacité de vous impacter avec la sagesse de Dieu. The Bible is the wisdom bank for anyone that wants to acquire the wisdom of God. La Bible est la banque de sagesse pour toute personne qui veut avoir la sagesse de Dieu. The Holy Scripture is the wisdom bank for us, the children of God. La parole de Dieu est la banque de sagesse pour nous, les enfants de Dieu. And as we build our capacity in knowing the Holy Scriptures, et comme nous construisons notre capacité de savoir la parole de Dieu, we grow in wisdom. Nous allons grandir en sagesse. And us growing in wisdom add value to our being. Et quand nous, grand, nous grandissons en sagesse, nous ajoutons la valeur sur notre vie. So it increases our value. Donc ça rajoute notre valeur. In other words, it increases our net worth. Dans autre mot, ça ajoute notre bonté. So, in our quest to take over, divine wisdom is key. Donc dans notre course de prendre le contrôle, la sagesse divine est la clé. Wisdom is better than the weapon of war. La sagesse est mieux que les armes de guerre. Wisdom is better than the weapon of La sagesse est mieux que les armes de guerre. With wisdom, avec la sagesse, you take over easily. Vous allez prendre le contrôle très facilement. With wisdom, you take over easily. Avec la sagesse, vous allez prendre le contrôle très facilement. Avec la sagesse, vous allez prendre le contrôle sans vous stresser. Avec la sagesse, vous allez prendre le contrôle sans vous stresser. Parce que la sagesse est mieux que les armes de guerre. La sagesse est mieux que les armes de guerre. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Hallelujah. Wisdom is better than the weapon of war. La sagesse est mieux que les armes de guerre. With wisdom, you can take over without stress. Avec la sagesse, vous pouvez prendre contrôle sans vous stresser. When you possess the multidimensional source of wisdom of God. Quand vous possédez les dimensions de la sagesse de la de Dieu. When you possess the multifunctional wisdom of God. Quand vous possédez les multifonctions de sagesse de Dieu. You can quench all the fairy darts of the devil. Vous pouvez éteindre tous les tactiques du diable. You can give devil and his agents a knock out. Vous pouvez donner un knock out à tout le diable et ses You can trample on snakes and scorpions. Vous pouvez marcher sur les serpents et les scorpions. You can torment satanic agents. Vous pouvez tourmenter les agents sataniques. You can cast them out, set them on fire and command them into the pit of hell where they belong. Vous pouvez les enlever et les envoyer au en enfer où ils appartiennent. So you need to possess the divine wisdom of God. Vous devez posséder la sagesse divine de Dieu. The multidimensional wisdom of God. La multidimension de la sagesse de Dieu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. People of God, Peuple de Dieu, there is no answer. There is no question that the wisdom of God has no answer to it. Il n'y a pas de question que la sagesse de Dieu n'a pas de réponse à ça. There is no question that the wisdom of God has no answer for. Il n'y a pas de question que la sagesse de Dieu n'a pas de réponse à ça. And there is no trouble that the wisdom of God has no solution to. Il n'y a pas de problème que la sagesse de Dieu n'a pas de solution à ça. There is no problem that the wisdom of God have no solution to. Il y a pas de problème que la sagesse de Dieu n'a pas de solution à ça. The wisdom of God have answer to every question. La sagesse de Dieu a la réponse de tous les problèmes. The wisdom of God have answer to every question. La sagesse de Dieu a la réponse à tous les problèmes. The wisdom of God have answer to every question. La sagesse de Dieu a toutes les réponses pour chaque question. The wisdom of God have solution to every problem. La 
sagesse de Dieu a la solution de chaque problème. The wisdom of God has solution to marital crisis. La sagesse de Dieu a la solution des crises maritales. The wisdom of God has solution to marital crisis. La sagesse de Dieu a la solution des crises maritales. And the solution to marital crisis is in Ephesians 5. Et la, 22 to 25. et la solution des crises maritales est dans Ephésiens chapitre 5 verset 20. In Ephesians 5 verse 22 to 25. Dans, dans le livre de Ephésiens 5 chapitre 22 à 25. There you will see the solution to marital crisis. Là vous allez voir la solution des crises maritales. And what did he say? Et qu'est-ce qu'il dit? He said, husband, love your wife. Il dit toi l'homme aime ta femme. As Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Comme Christ aime l'église et a donné sa vie pour l'église. He said, wife, submit to your husband. Il dit, toi la femme, être soumis à ton mari. As to the Lord. Comme tu le fais à Dieu. Because husband is the head. Parce que toi l'homme, tu es la tête. So if husband, love and wife submit, then the couple take over their marriage. Donc si toi l'homme, tu aimes et toi la femme, tu es soumise, dont le couple va prendre le contrôle. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. There is a wisdom of God to financial crisis. Il y a la sagesse de Dieu dans les crises financières. The wisdom of God to financial crisis. Il y a la sagesse de Dieu pour résoudre les crises financières. In Proverbs 3 verse 9. Dans le livre de Proverbes chapitre 3 verset 9. The wisdom of God speaking. La sagesse de Dieu parle. That honor the Lord with thy substance. Il dit honor le Seigneur avec tes substances. And thy bands will be filled to overflowing. Et vos sacs seront remplis jusqu'à ce qu'ils tombent. And thy bands will be filled to plenty. Et vos sacs seront tellement remplis. So there is a wisdom solution to every problem. Donc il y a la sagesse divine pour chaque solution. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Hallelujah. Amen. So instead of getting angry to someone that is progressing in life, au lieu de vous fâcher pour contre quelqu'un qui progresse dans la vie, we just need to find out what the person is doing that we are not doing. Nous devons juste savoir qu'est-ce que la personne fait que nous ne faisons pas. What a person is doing from God's word that we are not doing. Qu'est-ce que la personne fait dans la parole de Dieu que nous ne faisons pas. And when we do the same, we will find ourselves progressing. Et quand nous faisons la même, nous allons voir que nous-mêmes nous allons progresser. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. So find out from God's word. Donc essayez de se rechercher dans la parole de Dieu. Because obedience is the key. Parce que l'obéissance est la clé. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Dans le livre de Deuteronomy chapitre 28 verset 1. The book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Le livre de Deuteronomy chapitre 28 verset 1. The wisdom of God speaking. La sagesse de Dieu parle. That if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of God que si vous allez entendre et comprendre la voix de Dieu and to do that which he commands et de faire ce qu'il commande he shall set you up above all nations of the earth il va vous élever au-dessus de toutes les nations du monde entier if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of God si vous allez écouter la voix de Dieu he shall set you above all nations of the earth il va vous mettre si dessus haut toutes les nations du monde entier. So, it's us to hearken unto the voice of God. That is the wisdom of God. Donc, c'est à nous de comprendre la voix de Dieu. Ça, c'est la sagesse de Dieu. That is the divine wisdom of God. Ça, c'est la sagesse divine de Dieu. If we shall observe and to do all the commandments which He command us this day, si nous allons observer et comprendre les commandements de Dieu qui nous commande en ce jour, that the Lord will set you on high que le Seigneur va vous mettre plus haut above all nations of the earth pour toutes les nations du monde praise the lord hallelujah god shall set you above all nations of the earth le Seigneur va vous mettre au-dessus de toutes les nations du monde entier that means that the country that you want to go ça veut dire que le, le, le pays dont vous voulez aller instead of you applying to go they will apply to get you au lieu de vous d'appliquer pour aller ils vont appliquer pour vous avoir Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God will set you above all nations. Of Parce que le Seigneur va vous mettre au-dessus de toutes les nations du monde entier. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the wisdom of God has solution to every problem. 
Donc la sagesse de Dieu a la solution de chaque problème. The wisdom of God has answer to every question. La sagesse de Dieu a la réponse de chaque question. We just need to find out. Nous devons juste le savoir. The solution from God's word. La solution dans la parole de Dieu. And as we obey. Et comme nous obéissons. As we observe to do. Et comme nous observons et faisons. He will set us high. Above all nations of the earth. Il va nous mettre sur au-dessus de toutes les nations du monde entier. He will set you high above all nations of the earth. Il va nous mettre sur au-dessus de toutes les nations du monde entier. Every company in the world is at the mercy of God. Chaque société dans le monde entier est à la miséricorde de notre Seigneur. That one that you apply to work for. L'autre là que vous avez mis la demande pour travailler là. Is also under the mercy of God. Est toujours sous la miséricorde de Dieu. And when God set you above all nations of the earth. Et quand le Seigneur vous met au-dessus de toutes les nations du monde entier. That company is also in the nation of the earth. Cette société est aussi au-dessus de la miséricorde de Dieu. And they will be the one to call for you. Et c'est, ils seront les gens qui vont vous appeler. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom tout puissant de Jésus Christ. Welcome to your season of takeover. Soyez la bienvenue dans votre saison de prendre le contrôle. In Jesus Christ's name. Au nom de tout puissant Jésus Christ. May God bless His words in your heart. Que le Seigneur bénisse sa parole dans vos cœurs. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's be on our feet. Give me grace to follow. Give me knowledge to follow. Give me wisdom to follow. Your wisdom is an all. Give me grace to follow. Give me wisdom to follow. Give me wisdom to follow. Your wisdom is an all. 
right now, ask God to bestow his divine wisdom upon you. Ask him for the spirit of wisdom as Solomon asks God. Continue à demander le Seigneur de donner de vous donner la sagesse comme il a donné à le roi Salomon. Ask him for his divine wisdom. Demandez à la sagesse divine de Dieu. To bestow upon you. Que la sagesse divine de Dieu tombe sur vous. His divine wisdom. Let the rain the spirit of wisdom fall afresh in you. Que la pluie et que l'esprit de la sagesse de Dieu tombe sur vous maintenant. Right now, what is your situation? What situation are you in that seems impossible? God is the master doer of all impossibilities. Quelle situation vous êtes maintenant? Avec le Seigneur, tout est possible. Est Surrender all to God. Surrender all your heart desires to God. Relâchez tous vos désirs de cœur au Seigneur. Surrender all to God. Tout ce que vous avez, relâchez-le au Seigneur. Surrender all to Jesus. Laissez tout à ce, au Seigneur Jésus-Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I reject every satanic covenant. I reject every satanic covenant over my life. I reject every satanic covenant. Satanic covenant of disappointment. Satanic covenant of setback. Satanic covenant of disease. Satanic covenant of lack and want. Satanic covenant of joblessness. I reject them out of my life. I reject them out of my family. I reject them out of my career. I reject them out of my business. Reject them. Pray, 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 pray. Reject them out of your life. Continue à les rejeter hors de votre vie au nom de Jésus Christ. Say you disease, you sickness, you joblessness, you career loss, you lack and want. I have dominion over you because I belong to Jesus because I'm a child of God. I have dominion over you. So hear the voice of God. And go out of my life now. Go out of my family now. You joblessness. You setback. You sickness. You lack and want. Hear the voice of God. Go out of my career. Go out of my business. Go out of my life. Go out of my family. I command you out. I command you out. Say out. Say out. Say out. Command them, command them out. Say any curse. 
Any curse operating in my life, any curse operating in my family, any curse operating in my life, any curse operating in my family, you curse of joblessness, you curse of stagnation, you curse of failure. Any way you are, in my life, in my business, in my career, in my destiny, I command you, say out, 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 command them, command them, command them out. Say any satanic chain, any satanic chain connected to my life, any satanic chain connected to my business, any satanic chain connected to my family, I set you on fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire! Catch fire! Pour fire! Pour fire! Pour fire! Continue and wear the feu du Saint Esprit. On those satanic chain of stagnation, satanic chain of joblessness, satanic chain of setback. Rejects failure. My career. Rejects failure. My body. Rejects sickness. My body. Rejects sickness. My life. Rejects setback. My life. Rejects setback. Any spirit of setback. Any spirit of delay. Any spirit of lack and want. Operating my life, operating in my family, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, pour fire, pour fire, pour fire. Continue à envoyer le feu du Saint Esprit. Any unclean spirit, any unclean spirit operating in my life, operating in my career, any unclean spirit operating in my family, any evil spirit monitoring my life, monitoring my family, monitoring my destiny, God's fire, God's fire, God's fire. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Pour fire! Pour fire! Pour fire! Pour fire! Pour fire! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ.
die in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire 
die in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. In the power, that's the name of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible said, and the light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended not. 
In the name of Jesus, I command the light of God upon your life. Amen. Any darkness around your life and destiny, I command the light of God now. In the name of Jesus Christ, any darkness around your family, any darkness around your job, your career, I command the light of God to shine. The light of God shine in the name of Jesus Christ. The light of God shine and no darkness can comprehend it. No darkness from the pit of hell can comprehend it. The light of God shine around your life. The light of God shine around your destiny. The light of God shine on all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the impactation of the wisdom of God upon you. The impactation of the wisdom of God. Wisdom to know what to do. Wisdom to know which step to take. Wisdom to know which right turn to make. I command fresh impactation of the wisdom of God upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God fall upon you now. The power of God descend on you now. Power descend on you now. The power of God descend upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power of darkness, I stand upon the authority that is the name of Jesus Christ. And I command them to be dispelled. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. In all areas of your life. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus. As it is called take over. So you shall take over. You shall take over your job. You shall take over your career. You shall take over your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. Rejoice. Thank you, Jesus.